What's going on folks? I'm about to show you how you would test a defrost thermostat just in case for some reason you think that's what's wrong with your refrigerator where it's not getting cold. A lot of times this is your most likely problem when you have an issue where your refrigerator is getting warm as well as when you have a bunch of defrost that's pretty much that's actually when you have a bunch of frost that's in your freezer. Most time the issue will be you have a bad defrost thermostat. And this one right here, I'm about to show you how to test it. If you take basically a multimeter and you put it on a, con a continuity setting, which would be like the setting right over here, you might have been able to see it, but whichever one you got, you want to put it on a continuity setting. And once you put it on that setting, first of all, what you want to do is, is test it. If you look at the side of your defrost thermostat, you'll see numbers on it. This one says L6.7. Uh, dash 14.5 Celsius either you'll have Celsius or you'll have Fahrenheit what this is telling you is that this is the temperature that this defrost thermostat either either opens or closes when this thermostat closes what's supposed to happen is it's supposed to turn on your evaporator which basically heats up the back of your freezer to melt the ice and stuff that could be building up on it and when that doesn't work right, which means when it doesn't, when this doesn't um, close to, to basically heat up, turn on your evaporator, what will happen is that the ice will build up in your freezer, which basically then will block the, the air from going down to your refrigerator, making your refrigerator become warm. So to test this right here, when this is actually warm, it shouldn't have no continuity to it. So now take the red probe, put it on the red side, and this one on the other side, if you can watch the meter, it shouldn't make nothing. See how it is? What that's telling you is that is the circuit inside of this thermostat is open, which means that it's not going to make any sound because it's how it's supposed to be. And now I'm going to cool this down to below the temperature that it's supposed to be before it to close. And when it closes, that's normally when it's supposed to send a signal to your evaporator to heat up to melt the ice. You can have two problems with these. Sometimes they could be stuck open, which means that it won't turn on your evaporator, which means that your ice is going to build up inside of your freezer and possibly block the air going to your refrigerator. Or you can have an issue where this is stuck closed. And if it's stuck closed, what it means is that is your evaporator may stay on, which means it's going to keep on heating and heating, which sometimes can actually lead to a fire if this stays closed to where your evaporator stays on. So I'm going to show you again. I'm testing it. And you see nothing. So to test these, when it's warm, you basically test that you shouldn't get nothing. It shouldn't have no sound or anything that tells you that the circuit inside of this uh, the circuit inside of this thermostat is basically open. So you shouldn't get anything. Now what I'm going to do is put it inside the freezer for a minute and let it um, get cold. And now we should get a signal from it. Sometimes you may be able to put it into a cup of ice water to kind of cool it down or use some type of compressed air that's really cold to cool it down, then you should see the signal coming on. But I'm going to go ahead now and show you what it looks like or how it's going to behave when it's actually cooled below the temperature. I think this one, I think the circuit closes in this one at like 14 degrees. I think that's when it will close once it drops below 14. And on the other ones, like I said, to figure out when it closes, when it's Fahrenheit, you would take the first number minus the second number. So let's say the first number was 55, the second number was 35. So what you would do is just take 35, I mean 55 minus 35. And whatever number you get, that's going to be the number that you know that this, um, this thermostat operates at to close the circuit. Meaning whenever it gets below that temperature, it's going to close which means then your evaporator is going to come on to melt the ice off. Now I'm going to go ahead and put it in the freezer for a little while and I'm going to show you what it looks like when it's really cold. Now we should get a signal. All right, folks. So now pretty much I've taken this thermostat and put it in the freezer to kind of cool it off. And now that it's cool, what you should see is that it should now have continuity, which means now the signal should run all the way through. All right, you see that? 
See how it's running through it? Because now this thermostat is below the temperature that it needs to be for the circuits inside of it to close. So when you actually have continuity, which is a continual like that, that means that the circuit is closed. So technically inside of your freezer, what this should mean is that now your evaporator is going to come on to basically defrost your freezer. And if you watch, wait for a little while, you'll notice that after this warms up, it's going to, the connection will be broken, which means now it'll be open. Once it hits a certain, a certain temperature, see right now it's still on because this is still below. I think it's like on this one, I believe it should be like 14 degrees Fahrenheit. It's still below that temperature. So therefore, this is still a closed circuit inside of it. And you can see it's still closed, which basically would mean that your your evaporator should be coming on and basically defrosting your freezer. So pretty much this is how your thermostat works, your defrost thermostat works inside of your freezer. And this is how you could test to make sure this is working correctly. Now, even if you get a good signal off of this, if you look at the back of this and it looks bubbled or anything like that, what that tells you is that this one is probably defective and it should be replaced. As well as, if you can see close on this one, these wires look burnt. It looks black on this side, which could say that something probably happened with this one. That's why these wires look black like that. So therefore, in these cases, you want to replace this one, even if it seems to be working right when you do a continuity test on it. You still want to go ahead on and replace this because it's probably damaged in the inside. And it actually looks just a little bit raised on the edge, which could be a telltale sign that this one is defective or bad. All right, folks, once again, this is how you would test a defrost thermostat that came out of your freezer to see if it's working correctly or not. All right, please check out our other helpful videos. Please like and subscribe and share. Thanks.